Hello guys and gals, in this video we will be talking about converting from numbers to text and back. We talked about this some throughout the previous videos, but I just want to explain things a little bit more in depth. So, we talked about some functions in the previous video, specifically int and float. Whoops, not flat. These basically take a number and can convert them to a specific type of number, such as int 5.5, well this is going to take it and turn it into 5. Same thing, uh, float 5 will turn float 5.5, uh, 0 obviously, because, but anyways, the in, this can also be used for some text. So if we have a string that's like 5 for example, well, with these functions we can convert those strings to numbers. So let's try it. If I can type, probably not. Alright, so here we go. You can see that it took a string and converted it to an integer. Let's try it this way. Same thing, it works that way. Now, there's also a similar function for strings, which is str, which stands for string. String. It's kind of lost my speech there for a minute. So, anyways, let's say if we have the number 5, well, this will convert it to a string 5. You see what I mean? So, we can convert numbers to strings and certain strings to numbers. But you have to realize only certain strings can become numbers. Let's try an example where it will not work. Let's go int, and then within here we're going to put yo dog. Now, will this work or will this not work? You see, it does not work because this is not even a number. Basically, basically Python is smart enough to realize this is just a number, but it's it's not able to convert this to a number because it's not a number. So that that is a form of protection. But any number can be converted to a string. So. And you can see that works, and it does. It apparently uh, does some rounding or something there. But anyways, uh, we'll get into some of that more later. Uh, there's another thing when we're concatenating, we could say something like, "Whoops, I didn't mean to." Gosh, okay. Print. Hey, dude. Well, this would not work because these are two separate types. This is string, and this is number. You can see it doesn't work out so right because it just just doesn't. So a way we can do this is we can force this to a string like that. Now we get hey dude 5. So this allows us to convert it to a string that way we can concatenate it with strings because strings can only concatenate with other strings. Hopefully that all makes sense because if you have it like this, it's basically trying to do a mathematical equation, sort of how five plus five gives us ten, and that that doesn't work right. And it, it it can't convert this number to a string by itself. It protects that data type and keeps it as a number. So that's just uh, just some things to think about when converting from an integer or a number to a string and a string to a number. Any number can become a string, but only strings containing only numbers can be converted to numbers. So like one more example real quick. This is not going to work out right. What we could do is we could say, that will work. The same thing for variables if we have a a variable like value which is a string 5 let's say it was an input or something from um, like we talked about a couple videos ago well now we could say we could force that to be an int and say value plus 5 so that is just a little bit of introduction on 
converting types. So thank you for watching, guys, and be sure to subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. So peace out.